So this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Moon, Iron as well rising. Weekly love and relationship tarot reading January 6th to January 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case you want to get in touch with me guys for a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website. So that being said, um, moving on to the reading directly to the spread. The first card, which represents the topic of your uh, love and relationship week here, guys, or week in terms of love and relationship, that is to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the next one here, which uh, stands as the energy supporting the topic itself, that will be the Nine of Swords. Third card, it is the challenges uh, that you need to overcome throughout the week in terms of love and relationship, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. Uh, then what we do have, it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be uh, the star card. Followed by the next one here, which is how people see you. Uh, how your friends and family sees you, how your person of interest sees you, you know, how your partner, wife, husband sees you. That is going to be the page of cups. Followed by the next one here, it is what you can do in order to further your long-term love and relationship goal, or what is going to help that goal. We do have the temperance card. Uh, then the next one is going to be what is going to hurt that uh, goal. That is going to be the four of pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that Saru is offering to you, Gemini, that will be the, king, the knight excuse me, of cups. So pretty interesting, uh, it is what we do have here. It does look like that this week, you Gemini will wanna get your points across. Uh, with these two cards, and especially with the third one here, because I know what it is, the Eight of Swords, uh, <clears throat> this is what the cards are pointing. It kinda likes, uh, you're gonna find yourself in a situation, either good or bad, it is regardless, but it's not gonna be a satisfiable one. I mean, if it is a good one, you will want to be even better. If it is a bad one, then you will want to uh, reverse it into a good one because it simply can be done, all right? And you will not wanna uh, kinda like uh, satisfy yourself with the current results knowing that you can go for more. It's as simple as that. That is described here by the um, energies that are that is supporting the topic, meaning that this week it does look like that you are uh, going to understand the, the true reality, if you will, where you are right now and how far you can go. And certainly you won't be pleased with understanding your place, your spot and where you can be in reality. A simple example is, is just being a lover to someone knowing that you can actually make family together and that is simply not going to satisfy you at all and therefore you will want to kind of be hurt to raise questions and so on and so forth and that kind of applies to any kind of a situation so it does look like that the silent treatment that uh, you are holding on up until now um, you know of being afraid for example that you are going to provoke certain arguments wrangles a, a, a dispute and so on and so forth this fear is not going to be within you anymore because um not raising those questions kind of bears certain circumstances circumstances consequences that is and you won't you won't want to suffer those consequences any longer but the question is how exactly you are gonna try to make your points known across that will be the problem because uh, with the seven of pentacles uh, it's pretty clear that there is right and there is a wrong way and it does look like that this week it is a week where you're gonna contemplate how exactly to make your case if you will okay so how exactly to present yourself to present your wishes to present your agenda to present your yearning and that leads us to the third card here, which is the challenges. That is the Eight of Swords. Now, in love and relationship, Eight of Swords represents the disruption of the communication in between two people. You try to explain yourself. Either you 
are incapable of doing so or either the other person doesn't want to hear it. In either way, the way you overcome the challenge of the Eight of Swords is by being elaborative, by trying to explain it from a different angle, from a different point of view, from the three years old point of view. So whatever you are trying to say, whatever you are trying to uh, explain, if you are explaining it in a such a way that three years old cannot understand you, then you are doing awfully uh, bad job. So you have to be extra ultimate, ultimately, or how can I say it, preposterously elaborative here throughout this week. Whenever you say I love you, probably you have to say why, which is stupid, but you have to because it will be faced with skepticism. If you say I want to be with you, again, you have to say why, because again, it's going to be faced with skepticism and so on and so forth. Now, Eight of Swords is about, how can I say it, um, acknowledging the truth. Right, so uh, you need to be truthful, you need to be honest. Any dishonesty or fear of speaking about something is going to backlash in a very negative way towards you. So uh, that being said, whatever you are hiding, if you are hiding something up until now in terms of love and relationship against a person that you want to be with, then the time of hiding it should be over or kind of like the time of secrecy uh, should be over. So what you can enjoy here as a gift and blessings and that comes about only if you fulfill the first three cards, okay? Uh, that is going to be the star card and the star card it points to um, unfolding love when we're talking about love and relationships. So you can definitely find a, a long-term love throughout this week a long-term partnership, a long-term support. That is your gift, that is your blessing. The thing is, can you negotiate for it? Because it really looks like as a yeah, negotiations here, and once you are done with the negotiations where the two parties are pleased with how, what kind of a stipulations have been agreed here, then, you know, the love is going to flow on its own accord. Additionally to that, the star card promises longevity. This is another thing that you can enjoy with the newly formed or with the established relationship should you be able to do so once again. Okay, you have to be elaborative, you have to display your case and you have to find the right way to do it as well by facing your fears, that is, and overcoming those fears. Now, uh, one thing with the star card is that it, it, it kind of like gives fulcrum. What I mean is that it gives you something to look forward to. So usually when it comes into the gifts and the blessings, that is something that comes, strikes me right now. It kind of refers that you do have a plan B, maybe plan C, all the way maybe to plan Z. Right, so everything is gonna be better than being in a stagnated situation, not knowing what is going on and where whatever you do have in between you and the person you wanna be with is heading to. So the other card, which is how people see you, it is the Page of Cups. Uh, it's uh, pretty trivial with the Page of Cups. Uh, people were seeing you as someone who wants to be emotionally attached especially the person uh, of interest if you are single you know and you want to be with someone that person sees you as a um, individual that needs to be emotionally attached and that alone gives you a pretty good chance that they emotionally attach with you and not only just that but also they see you as a individual who is more attending to the overview rather than to the minor uh, irritating details therefore someone who is willing to forgive let's say or willing to speak willing to uh, even negotiate and resolve a, a mutual disputes or differences if you will and as well people were seeing you as an individual who is also ready and willing to change positions okay to reassess to make a crucial assessment of oneself and redefine oneself as well based on this a uh, assessment so the next one, it is about what is going to help your long-term love and relationship go. We do have the temperance card, couple of things, or actually three things here. Um, solidarity, compassion, and as well, uh, respecting the differences in opinions.
So that card itself points that you may not be agreed with whatever your person of interest, your husband or wife or partner is telling you, and you don't have to agree with them. You just need to respect them for it. That's the whole point, because we are different people, we are different individuals with different opinions. And as soon as two different opinions are respected, definitely a common ground in between can be found. And there you go. This is what helps your long term love and relationship goal. What is going to hurt it, though, we do have the four of pentacles and that is trying to, um, how can I say it? Uh, ensure its secure future or in other words trying to have it your way at all cost ultimately without budging in any side in any direction whatsoever taking on a defensive measure and constantly trying to bend the things in such a way that it is never your fault you need to know that in one relationship is always both ways i mean the fault goes always both ways with different proportions, of course, but always in both ways. And the last card uh, for you, uh, Gemini, it is uh, the guidance the Tower is offering. Now, this is the Knights of Cups. Now, Knights of Cups uh, asks you for a couple of things. Now, the first one is to hold in front of yourself the feelings of your heart, or rather like the dreams of yourself, of your heart and follow them regardless of what is happening. Because the second thing that the, that the Knights of Cups is advising you, or kind of like is giving you as a guidance, is that the results that you are going to um, cultivate are going to be reciprocal to the efforts you put in. So nothing is going to be gifted to you. You have to fight and work for it, and you have to deserve it. And that's why the Star card, the gifts and the blessings, it's conditional. You have to um, go through the physical aspect of the week where, you know, you face your fears, you display your case, you elaborate upon yourself, upon your reasons and upon your goals and aims. And then, you know, you get the gift of results, which is a fulcrum, a long term goal and hopefully unfolding love. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading. Yeah, January 6th to January 12th, 2020. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you do want uh, to get in touch with me for your private reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a uh, link to my website. And we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.